All right, today we are looking at Heiz Industries patented modular electrodes. Um, we're going to look at the 200 series, 300 series standard replacement, 400, uh, as well as uh, a couple of custom electrodes, um, all the tools needed, and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's jump right into it. We'll start with the 300. Uh, this is a 300 series base and a standard replacement for a 300 series uh, weld head this is our standard modular. Um, just go ahead and get started. First thing to do is remove the, the locking nut, just like that. Normally they're tighter, of course. And then we have our consumable washer, which has a smaller OD on the top and a larger one on the bottom. Um, smaller goes up top. Uh, then once we get to the base, we can use a adjustable or a modular wrench. Just pop that off. Once we take that off, we can remove our liner. Now these liners can be made out of uh, plastic G10 material or the ceramic coated tool steel. Uh, both are very effective. Uh, of course, the ceramic liners do last a lot longer and are typically used for uh, stud welding applications or very high volume uh, projection welding uh, applications. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our two standard bases. Uh, we have the original and then we have the dowel pin base. Uh, we're going to try and install the dowel pin base right now. So pins, of course, doesn't matter. You can use any type of pin, uh, whether it's a stainless steel pin, a uh, coated ceramic pin, or a pure, pure ceramic such as this one here, which is uh, zirconium oxide. And just go ahead and thread it on. Oops, sorry. Just like that. And with the dowel pin base, we do have a couple options. We can use a standard adjustable. We can use a socket tool. Or we can use the uh, dowel pin wrenches, which have both a 200 and 300 uh, pin variation. Of course, uh, both allow you to keep the pin in place. So you tighten that down. Then we can go ahead and install either the ceramic or the plastic liner. Let's try the ceramic liner. And then the washer. Of course, the large OD goes down. And then the same nut works here. And that's it. You're ready to weld. Uh, keep in mind as well that the nut and the base are interchangeable between different uh, pin sizes. Um, the only thing that needs to be changed to match the pins are the liners and the washer. So let's take a look at our new patented quick release uh, modular base. These ones, again, thread in the same way. The difference here is that you do have to use either the socket tool or the wrench. Just go ahead and use the wrench this time. Torque it down. And again, we still have the option of using either liner. We'll use the plastic one this time. And again, washers are all the same. Chuck that on. Now, when we get to the actual locking nut, this particular one has no threading, so what we have to do is just come up to the top and either put a little bit of force and lock it down. Uh, the quick release is available in both a 200 and a 300, uh, depending on the application. Uh, for the for removal, you can always use a quick release tool, or you can just use your fingers, just pop it off. There you go. I'm going to show you that again installed, ready to go, and when you want to change the washer, just take that off. We'll just quickly take a look at uh, these dowel pin base 200 series. Works in the same fashion as the others. And uh, let's try it out with uh, the socket tool this time. The socket tool has the hole for the pin, and then torque that down and pop a adjustable wrench on it. There we go. And then 
standard liner and standard washer and standard nut. That's it. So you're ready to weld. A couple of uh, custom applications uh, include a tapered base uh, or a custom thread, also 400 series for the larger uh, applications. Um, we can always make adjustments to whatever application you're looking for, but here's just a couple examples. So this particular one was a uh, 5RW taper, some flats, and then they wanted to keep a positive location for the nut. So take the standard nut off, and that's your consumable right there. Uh, advantage here is, of course, that you're not replacing a lot of copper. Uh, you're just replacing the weld face keeps the cost down as well as waste and then we have other options for maybe a high volume application where uh, cooling is critical uh, we can cool the base itself and have the same concept up top where we have a washer and a nut you can even have liners in this application as well but that's pretty much it so that's the Heise Industries modular electrodes, uh, both uppers and lowers, and all the tools associated with it. Thank you very much.